Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, I am starting a new series for the subject Power Devices and Circuits. So without wasting the time, let us start the session. The first part is SCR that is Silicon Controlled Rectifier. It is also called thyristor. In this session, we will discuss the construction of SCR that is construction of thyristor and uh, transistor model for the SCR. This diagram shows the symbol of SCR that is symbol of thyristor. It has basically three terminals, anode terminal, cathode terminal which is similar to the diode and one extra terminal is there compared to the diode. It is a gate terminal. So this device is basically three terminal device having three terminals anode, cathode and gate. Like the diode, the flow of current is unidirectional that means from anode to cathode and this current is controlled by applying certain uh, signal at the gate terminal. This diagram shows the construction of SCR. It has basically four layers. These four layers are P and PN. That means these four layers are formed by using P-type and N-type uh, semiconducting layers. As shown in this diagram, there are three terminals, anode terminal, cathode terminal and gate terminal and these three horizontal lines represents three junctions in case of SCR, junction J1, junction J2 and junction J3. It's very simple, junction J1 is between the first P layer and first N layer. Junction J2 is in between N layer that is first N layer and second P layer. This is first P layer and this is second P layer. So junction J2 is formed between first N layer and second P layer whereas junction J3 is formed between second P layer and N layer. As I said this device is a basically current control device. So by applying the current at the gate terminal the current which is flowing from anode to cathode terminal can be controlled. The current enters from the anode terminal. This current which is entering into the device is treated as positive current whereas the current leaves from the cathode current which is treated as negative current. In between this flow of current from anode to cathode, it is controlled by using this gate terminal. So I have written some important points. It is basically a solid state operating device. It has four layers which we have already discussed. Then three junctions are there J1, J2 and J3 and three terminals are there anode terminal, cathode terminal and gate terminal. It is basically a current operating device. Now. Whenever this anode terminal is connected to positive terminal of battery and cathode is connected to negative terminal of battery, the SCR is said to be forward biased. Under forward bias condition, the current flows from anode terminal to the cathode terminal. So if you are connecting positive terminal of battery to the anode terminal of SCR and negative terminal of battery to the cathode terminal of battery, uh, cathode terminal of SCR, as we discussed, the SCR is said to be forward biased. In such cases, observe this diagram. This P is connected to this first P layer is connected to positive terminal of battery. So this PN junction that is junction J1 is forward biased. Similarly, this N is connected, last N layer is connected to negative terminal of battery. So the junction J3 which is in between second P layer and last N layer, this will be forward biased. So junction J1 and J3 are forward biased when positive and negative terminal of battery are connected to positive uh, and, and connected to anode and cathode terminal of SCR. Under such conditions, this junction J2 will be reverse biased because observe this diagram, this N layer when this anode is connected to positive, N will be connected to positive and P will be connected to negative. So J1 and J2 are forward biased whereas junction J2 will be reverse biased. Now whenever as we said this flow of current is from anode to cathode and it will be controlled by applying certain gate current at the gate terminal. So if we are applying certain positive current at the gate terminal, 
then this junction J2, which is between uh, first N layer and second P layer will be forward biased and the SCR is turned on. Now, whenever SCR is turned off, then it provides ideally infinity resistance. Whereas whenever SCR is turned on, just now we discussed how it is turned on. So whenever it is turned on, it offers low resistance. This low resistance is typically between 0.01 ohm to 1 ohm. Next part is two transistor model or analogy. From the exam point of view, we may expect the question like this. Explain the two transistor model of SCR or two transistor model of thyristor. We have discussed that there are uh, basically four layers. P and P N. These are the four layers. This P1 is the first layer. Let us say I have kept it as it is. N2 is the second N layer which is again kept as it is. This second and third layers are say we have divided it into two parts N1 and P2. So remaining terminals are same that is anode terminal, gate terminal and cathode terminal. Corresponding currents are IA that is anode current. This is IK that is cathode current. This is gate current IG. So as I said we are assuming that this uh, second layer and third layer are divided it into two parts. So if I will consider this part only that is P1, N1, P2. Then it can be represented like this P1, N1, P2. So this will act as one P and P transistor. Similarly, the remaining layer that is N1, P2 and N2, which is shown in this diagram, N1, P2 and N2. If I will separate out this layer, then N1, P2 and N2, I mean this layer, this forms another transistor, which is N, P, N transistor, say transistor T1, this P and P transistor, let us denote it by uh, T1. So we, can consider this SCR as if there are two transistors. One is PNP and another is NPN transistor which are connected in cascade or which are connected one after other. It is as shown in this diagram. This is called two transistor model of the SCR. So this is transistor PNP as we discussed which is uh, formed by making use of layers P1, N1 and P2. Uh, P1, N1 and P2. So this is P and P transistor denoted by T1. Second transistor, NPN transistor which we obtained because of this layer N1, P2 and N2. So this is transistor T2. Now observe this connection carefully. This is P and P transistor. So this terminal is emitter terminal. This is base terminal. This is collector terminal of P and P transistor that is transistor T1. This is the gate terminal. We have discussed that uh, basically current flows from anode to cathode of the SCR. This current can be controlled by applying gate current to this gate terminal. This gate current is denoted by IG. Now this is the collector terminal of transistor T1. This current coming out from this collector terminal is IC1. It is combined with IG and it forms the base current IB2 for transistor T2. So IB2 can be controlled by controlling IC1 and IG that is gate current. This is the transistor T2. This is NPN transistor. So this is emitter terminal. Then this is base terminal. This is collector terminal. Now this collector terminal is connected to the base terminal. Collector terminal of T2 is connected to the base terminal of T1. So if you apply small gate current that is IZ, it gets combined with IC1 and it represents current IB2. So even if this gate current is small, this transistor is basically amplified. It produces large amount of this IC2 that is this collector current of transistor T2 which is same as the base current of transistor T1. So again this transistor is also acting as an amplifier. So this base current produces large amount of collector current and likewise even if we apply a small gate current you are getting amplified collector current that means amplified base current for transistor T1. It again produces amplified collector current of uh, T1. Likewise the process continues. This is called a positive feedback. So immediately a positive feedback is initiated and the thyristor 
or uh, SCR goes into saturation. So this is called two transistor model or analogy of SCR. This anode current is given by I A which is equals to I2 anode current is this current that is I E1 so which is alpha 2 I G plus I C B O1 plus I C B O2 upon 1 minus alpha 1 plus alpha 2 I G is get current this terminal I G is get current then I C B O we have two uh, terms related to this I C B O1 and I C B O2 so I C B O is basically collector leakage current with zero base current that means if for the transistor we are not applying any current that is zero base current then whatever small amount of leakage current collector current you are getting that is icbo so naturally icbo1 stands for collector leakage current with zero base current for transistor 1 similarly for transistor 2 it is icbo2 then 1 minus alpha 1 plus alpha 2 where alpha is DC current gain. So alpha 1 is DC current gain of transistor T1 and alpha 2 is DC current gain of transistor T2. So this is the expression of uh, anode current IA for the SCR. So dear students that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.